going on, Black Lightning fans? This is Mr. Dark Phoenix bringing you guys my review of the newest episode. This is the first time you guys are catching my channel. Please be wary. This is going to be a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen it yet, come back when you have. And if you have seen it, let's jump on in to the newest episode. The Resurrection and the Light. The Book of Pain. There was a lot of pain this episode. If you want to see me stream games on Twitch, follow me on Twitch and Twitter, Facebook, all my social media links are down below. We'll talk about that later. So now, M Khalil is walking, and he's evil. Where did dreadlocks come from? It was like, a, they took me some pills, and my hair grew, and I was like, I'm not sure if, like, I'm not sure what the, what the I understand the look on paper. You know, but I kind of take him less seriously because he has the dreadlocks. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just they we need to see him in action more, but I kind of feel like, I mean, unless that's his natural hair and they finally let him do it, but I don't know. The dreads is, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird to me. Like, I'm like, every time he, every time he, like, turns around, it's like, he's, like, whooshing his dreads. Like, whoop my dreads back and forth. Like, I don't, I don't know. Hopefully it'll get solved and something will happen. But he's walking, he's evil, he's on the stuff. We go and get a school fight. And he's, like, ninjing drugs to people. He's, like, hua, drugs, hua, drugs. And I'm, like, wow, good idea. Attack the school you went to. That's always smart, but we get this cool school fight, and Nissa, Anissa fights the girl, who I've always thought was like, you know, God knows what. I think she's League of Assassins. I don't think they can call her that because Arrow and Gotham are using them, but I really think she's something, because she's fighting her, you know, getting her ass, because she tries shooting at her, and, you know, she tries using the, um, the baton, that doesn't work, and, see, I, I know Anissa's training with her powers, but every time she's like, <gasps> It's like, okay, honey, you're really, you're really, you're really just letting people know to, 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 to hit you. And the girl saw that. So when she exhaled, that's when she laid the hurt on her. Hence why the Book of Pain title. But it's like, I feel, I feel, I feel like Anissa's going to get better with that. And I get it. You know, she's essentially really powerful, indestructible, and she can cause, you know, shockwaves. So I get it. You got to have something to have her, you know, brought down. And that's cool. It's totally fine. But it's, like, mad obvious, and people can catch on that. So I hope that she knows, because I think the, the finale is next week. So I'm really glad that it's going to be, you know, really quick and to the point. And I just like this whole episode. And then Tobias Whale comes in, and he's all like, I'm going to beat your ass. And he fights him, and then Khalil, like, gives him, like, a super a, a Roman Reigns Superman punch to the chest. And he's like, you killed him, you idiot. And it's like, okay. Okay. And then... The other daughter comes in, and she's all like, Daddy, please, zap. And it's like, do that again. Daddy, please, zap. I don't know if they're going to go back to that whole, like, he felt like he was losing his powers or he had, like, too much. But I feel like, but I feel like the, I feel like the other daughter is going to be some kind of, like, conduit to him. So I would like that. And I get it. She doesn't want to be a superhero and all that stuff. But, hon, you're going to have to suit up at least a couple times. This ten episodes, three or four max. Yo ass gonna be in costume. But it's cool, because next week is the finale, and we'll talk about more what I thought about the season next week once we do that, so be sure to hit subscribe for all those awesome nerdy videos. I review shows weekly, I stream games on Twitch, and you can catch me on Facebook and Twitter, so all my social media links are right here in the description bar below. You can click on those and get some fun stuff and get updates and talk to me. Because I know that's what y'all want to do. But all in all, this episode was really great. It just showed off a lot of great things about the show. And I can't wait for next week. What did you guys think about it? Comment down below. And let me know. Don't forget, guys, to stay positive. Stay on the grind. I love you the same way you love and support me. You are meant for greatness. And I love and support you the same way you love and support me. Do not forget, you guys, to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next time for another great video.